And we're delighted to uh, have this event this evening. We wanted to really provide an opportunity for really parents and family members and others in the Type 1 community to really get a better understanding of what goes on here at Jocelyn. So we know a lot of our patients are thrilled with the type of care they get, but even there we know sometimes you're not sure what type of research, what else is going on here at Jocelyn. So this is really an opportunity for us to really showcase not just the great clinical care that we provide to pediatric patients, adolescent patients, and our young adult type ones. Uh, you know, part of our mission is to make sure that we are in fact, you know, fully engaged with anyone that needs our help, needs our encouragement, needs our support. So that's a big part of what uh, we have planned for this evening. Joslyn has so many opportunities to offer uh, state-of-the-art care, education, and uh, advances in research that will aim towards helping patients live their daily lives with type 1 diabetes. Well, I'm here tonight at Jocelyn because I have two children with diabetes. As a matter of fact, they've been in pediatrics. Uh, my son was diagnosed at 4 and my daughter was diagnosed at age 10, and now they're in their 20s. And Jocelyn has been a wonderful place for us to be, and as a person who has um, firm beliefs that that good health care leads to good outcomes. I feel like I'm interested in hearing what Jocelyn has to say about that tonight. This evening I've been asked to talk about uh, recent advances in uh, autoimmunity uh, in type 1 diabetes. And so basically what I'm going to discuss are changes that we're seeing in the disease process and some data that's come out of Jocelyn. Uh, specifically, I'm going to talk about new methods that we have for measuring insulitis or the destructive process that causes type 1 diabetes. I'm also going to talk a little bit about TrialNet, for which Jocelyn's an affiliate, and um, we're currently looking at how we can potentially modify disease course. Um, I'm an investigator in the section on islet cell and regenerative biology, and my lab uh, uses stem cells to study tissue regeneration and, and understand how uh, tissues degenerate in situations like diabetes and in aging. So tonight I'm going to be talking about a very exciting new initiative at the Joslin, which is the uh, initiation of an induced pluripotent stem cell core, uh, which we've gotten uh, going over the last year. Uh, these stem cells give us the opportunity to really capture uh, the genetics of a very complex disease in, in diabetes, to study the pathogenesis or the development of that disease, um, to test new drugs that might be able to uh, reverse that uh, dysfunction in cells, and to develop strategies by which we might replace beta cells that are lost uh, due to diabetes. Um, I'm going to talk about the 50-year medalists. Um, they're a fantastic group of individuals who have an extreme duration of type 1 diabetes. Um, an incredibly healthy group, very few complications um, that are going to help us identify the protective factors um, against uh, diabetic retinopathy and nephropathy. Um, they also have a very interesting characteristic in that they look like they have residual insulin production. Um, which is really, really interesting. Um, and they're just a fantastic group overall, so I'm thrilled to be talking about them. And tonight I will be talking about the genetics of type 1 diabetes, uh, what we have discovered about the genes involved in type 1 diabetes, how we can learn from these genes, and uh, what our hopes are for uh, the future in developing a cure or treatments based on our new knowledge from these genes. I am here at Jocelyn tonight because my mom let me know that there was going to be a symposium talking about um, the new advances in taking care of young adults with type 1 diabetes and I have type 1 diabetes. I've been coming to Jocelyn for a little while but I was interested in being in a space where that information was being disseminated sort of in a gather it all up and then I can go back to my provider and ask more detail oriented questions. Oh.